into a set mold. She was a feminist, still with a difference. A parliamentarian who moved no less than 750 amendments in the Constitution Assembly and Provincial Parliament. And a who built and ran no less than half a dozen institutions with crores of rupees as a corpus fund. A patriot who went behind bars when she was just in her teens. A dreamer who, who could conceive uh, heralding social change through organizing efforts to train the downtrodden. She represented the band of Indian women who evolved in the early uh, decades of the 20th century and gave directions and purpose to the life of socially oppressed and politically neglected mass of countries of womanhood. Born in 1909 in a middle class family at Raja Mandri of Kakinada, East Godavari district. Married at the age of 8 to Subarao as she matured and realized what marriage means. She understood what she will be after her marriage at this early age. She convinced her young husband Subara that she, should, she would not make a suitable wife and would even help him to get a suitable wife and she, he should divorce uh, her. And Subara was a good human being and this is how she secured her divorce. When Gandhiji visited Kakinada in 1921, this 12-year-old Durga invited him to visit the Devdasis and uh, uh, see their condition and also invited him to see the veiled Muslim woman's condition because in her understanding these are the two top most oppressed sections of women in her area. She then became, became an ardent Congress Sevika and courted arrest for the first time during the Salt Satrake movement. She did her law from the Law College of Madras and became a, a professional criminal lawyer. Her first brief involved restoration of property to a woman deprived of her uh, inheritance. She married C.D. Deshmukh in 1950. She was a very successful criminal lawyer. During uh, uh, Gabal's endeavor, uh, endeavor was never to send back a woman in need of legal aid she had not forgotten the inmates of the Madurai jail where she spent quite a lot of time. In 1946, Durga Bai became a member of the Constituent Assembly. Her one regret was that the Hindu court bill could not be passed at the time. However, she later helped in shaping the amended legislation and the passage Piecemeal in 1952. Durga Bai reopened interventions in the Constituents Assembly and made Ambedkar quip, Here is a woman with a bee in her uh, a bonnet. He used to put women into three categories females, women, and ladies, and Durga Bai fell into the second category. When she criticized John Mathai, for a failure to protect the interest of the poor in the uh, budget and later apologized for the strong words uh, used. John Mathai turned around and said, no need for you to apologize. He later told to the colleague, she is a, a generous hearted and a noble woman. In the meantime, Dirgabai had established the Andhra Mahila Sabha. 
after uh, Mathai uh, resigned from the Planning Commission in 1950, Dr. Chitranjan uh, Chintamani Dwarkana Deshmukh, earlier governor of the Reserve Bank and the time of the member of the Planning Commission, became the India's first finance minister. CD, as Deshmukh was affectionately called, was a brilliant economist and administrator and had served in the uh, India Civil Service when he was appointed as a deputy governor to the newly constituted Reserve Bank of India. Durgabai too contested the first elections to parliament and lost. She all her life continued working for the women's emancipation and she was one of the most outstanding parliamentarian. Thank you very much.